All right, Ryan, you're here at this uh, Feed the Need event. What made you want to come and help out today? Oh, from being being from Dallas and now living in Columbus, it became my new home. And uh, just feeding it, just doing charity events. I've been doing it with my parents since I was younger. So they've been they're from the island, so they've always ingrained in my head that um, how blessed I am and to stay humble. So they always made sure I helped out in the community. So it's something I just grew up with. So just being being able to give them the opportunity to do it here at Town Hall today, uh, I just took the opportunity. How much does you know an Ohio State encourage you guys to do these kind of things to give back to your community? Can you be that again? How much does Ohio State encourage you guys to do these things and give back to your community? Oh, they encourage us a lot. I actually did. I actually did uh, cops and gobblers with them. Uh, I think that was last week. Yeah, after that, after the opportunity, yeah, last week. So they always encourage us to go back, uh, help in the community. As a, they, 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 they help us. They help us, they come, they show us support. So just being able to give them back, giving back to the community for not having to do. For you personally, just what has this year been like for you? This year? This year's been great, really. Uh, I've been, I've had, I've been able to uh, contribute to the team this week, this year, uh, being on defense and on special teams, and uh, just seeing how, how much we've grown throughout the year, uh, being a bond with my brothers, and uh, just see how, how much we've grown over the year and to see where we can go this year, uh, hopefully getting to the Natty and winning the Natty. So it's something that I take I take a lot of pride in and I, I lo I'm loving every moment of it. What do you feel like are the biggest ways in which you have grown? Uh, I feel like me personally, I've grown a lot. Are you talking about for football or just like in life? Uh, b both, honestly. I've grown a lot in life being able to live a, been living on my own. Uh, I've been keeping my head on straight and having a whole bunch of support and love from Ohio State. So I feel like mentally I've grown a lot and physically I've grown a lot just being on, on the field and throughout my body. I've grown a, I feel like my time here has been really, really beneficial to me. What do you feel like are maybe the biggest things you had to learn that once you get on the field, maybe you realized, okay, these are areas I need to improve on? Uh, really just the speed of the game I had to, I, I had to improve on and just giving out the snaps. I feel like I have improved on it. The game slowed down a lot for me. And uh, the more opportunities I get, I feel like uh, I'll be able to make those, capitalize on those opportunities. What are the biggest ways in which you know Matt Barnes and Kerry Combs have helped you grow? Uh, they helped me a lot, but I've also got to give a lot of uh, respect to Coach Rhodes. I feel like he's helped me a lot. I spent a lot of time with him uh, off, off the field with him, just in life and on, on the field. So I always try to get some extra time with Coach Rhodes. What are the things he's brought to uh, Ohio State that has helped you specifically? Um, he's brought a lot of, just he's helped me a lot with uh, telling me things and helped me on my technique and my stance, really my stance, because I'm a taller corner and I used to always get low thinking that that's how everybody else was. But then he, he encouraged me to get a little bit higher on my stance so it made me more mobile and uh, easier to move out my breaks. So I felt like that, it made an immediate impact on my whole game as a whole. So um, I got to give a lot of respect to Coach Rose and just mental, mentally, just how to study receivers and uh, just how to see the game. How excited are you for your first Michigan game this week? Oh, uh, that, that's going to be that's going to be really exciting to be able to play with the team of North. I was looking forward to it last year, but they canceled the game. So I'm, I'm extremely excited this year. We've been preparing for it all year. How, for you being a guy from Texas, like, did you understand the rivalry before you got here? Or, like, have you really learned since you got here? Oh yeah. Um, since I was a kid, I've been watching college football. I saw Oklahoma, Texas, Auburn, Alabama, and in the game, I've always made sure to watch the game. So it's something that I've been looking forward to as a kid. Now that I'm going to be able to participate in it and help contribute to winning this game, uh, that's, that's going to be a lot. I'm going to be real nervous, but I'm going to be excited. Do you feel like you guys are peaking at the right time to be able to be at your best this weekend? Oh, yeah. I feel like we're peaking at the best time, but we're, we're, we're trying to stay humble and not get too carried away and to be caught by surprise by the team because it's a good team. So we're trying to have the game. We're trying to have the first half we had, but for the whole game. From offense, defense, special teams, we all gotta we all gotta make sure we contribute to make this win.